this exhibition, the Age of Rembrandt, is a unique opportunity uh, to see the totality of the Metz pictures all at once, uh, almost 250 paintings. It is also an opportunity to see at the highest level a whole history of Dutch 17th century painting, the Age of Rembrandt, uh, in a collection that is by far the finest outside of Europe with uh, 20 pictures by uh, Rembrandt, with 11 by Franz Hals, five by Vermeer, uh, which is uh, out of a totality of uh, 35 paintings. It is also an exhibition that gives us wonderful insight about the collecting patterns in America and how it was formed and how it got to be uh, what it is today. Uh, it's uh, simply a magical experience. Well, the Met has a great collection of Dutch paintings. It goes back to the second year of the institution's history, 1871, and it's been building ever since then. We have 228 masterpieces from the period 1600, 1800, most of them from Rembrandt's lifetime. And of course, we're celebrating his birth in 1606, so it was his 400th birthday last year and the publication of the first catalog of all the Dutch paintings. Normally you see about 70 of them in our galleries, now you see them all. We don't need to just move the Dutch galleries one, from one place to another and, and amplify them. Uh, as a matter of fact, there are four locations you might find Dutch paintings. The main gallery, storage, the Linsky collection, the Lehman collection are all separate. And uh, in this installation, we are organizing things according to the year of acquisition in a broad way. So we see waves of, firstly, the 1871 purchase, our president Marquand, who gave us 37 paintings, the great Altman collection, and we are in the Altman gallery right now, and on and on right up to the last acquisitions of, as it happens, 2005. In terms of subject matter, the main point about Dutch painting is that it was made for private homes. So, so much of it is portraiture or landscape. It's interesting, this was the most urbanized culture in Europe by a long shot. So, some 75% of people lived in cities. They want views of landscape, quite like the uh, New Yorkers of the Gilded Age. Uh, still life, marine paintings, genre paintings, that is, scenes of everyday life. And what biblical and mythological pictures there are, are interpreted, I would say, in a very personal or private way. The great artist of the period is Rembrandt, Rembrandt van Rijn, who worked mostly in Amsterdam. Frans Hals is highly familiar. He worked in nearby Harlem, nearby Amsterdam. And Johannes Vermeer, they actually represent three generations, Hals being the oldest, then Rembrandt. Vermeer died in 1675. And the museum, this collection, has five Vermeers out of the 35 we know in the world, so more than any other collection. I think the, the reason that especially Rembrandt and Vermeer resonate with people today is that they're contemplative artists. They establish a mood or a feeling of thoughtfulness. You take a work like Aristotle with the bust of Homer, and this is an ancient philosopher who looks like a Renaissance gentleman. And he's puzzling out the uh, relative values of material and spiritual things. And he's an individual in his study just pondering this ethical problem. And similarly, Vermeer shows young women in idyllic interiors. And in our hectic, media-laden world, I think this quietude and thoughtfulness resonates. There are 20 Rembrandts in the Metz collection, and one of the most important is the self-portrait behind me. It's dated 1660. The poor man was only 54 at that time. And I hope I looked a little better than that when I was 54. <laughs> and uh, it's one of about 40 genuine self-portraits that we know. And there are also perhaps 50 uh, portraits of Rembrandt by artists right around him from this period. So there was a market for Rembrandt's image. And yet, when he does a self-portrait, it's not just for the collector. He's looking in the mirror, and as he did throughout his career, he's taking 
both the physical appearance and what he sees of the psychological truth uh, seriously and reports it in a very candid way. Firstly, we normally show our masterpieces in the galleries and then outstanding works of a few different genres. But I think people in this exhibition will be uh, astonished by the breadth and depth of the collection, the number of subjects, and the richness of quality over a range of more than 200 works. And then secondly, they'll be surprised to some extent at what's Dutch. It's not just landscape, portrait, still life, etc. There are major religious and mythological pictures and things which are very much in an international French or Flemish style as well as the Dutch naturalistic style we're, we're all familiar with. So it'll broaden their horizons, which is appropriate to the landscape of the Netherlands.